Cheers, boys. Key. Morning. Morning, guys. And well, it's not morning actually. It's, it's kind of early afternoon. We we had a tough one with uh, adjusting to time zones again. But we are here in Seoul, South Korea, and we're in our hostel. Look, this is our little. This is our little like jam area, kind of. This is this is called the basement. This is the social space of the hostel anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We we need coffee. <laughs> Get that coffee, bro. We're ready for you, so we're ready for you. <laughs> well, it's a bit of a drizzly day today. Reminds me of England. We are heading out with uh, the owner of the hostel. This is Shrek. Hey. Hello, I'm Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek's your nickname, though, right? No, my real name. It's your real name? My real English name. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, quite a fun plan for today basically as you know one of the sponsors of this whole entire Solvi trip is Hostel World they've been like hosting us in all the different countries and we are filming a video for them today where we're going to be doing a challenge with some of the hostel guests so we're going to go out and buy a few things for the challenge it's going to be like a partly an eating challenge so Shrek's got a, a fun idea for us involving some spicy noodles but we're not going to tell the guests that until later Oh yeah, this is Noodle City. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always need a local's help, man. Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue what's going on here. So this is a uh, noodle for that one, but this is you know just you know three minutes later and uh, just hot water. Uh -uh. Oh, that's it, it, that's like hot noodle. Much, uh -huh. Yeah. Much easier. It's easier, yeah. Uh -huh. Let's so, do how many? How and much these is this? these are spicy, yeah. Uh -huh. Very spicy. Pretty spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Stocking up on those noodles. Dave, shall I just get a basket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get a basket, friend. Okay. This is always me forgetting to pick up a basket every time. We're going. We're going to go extra spicy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. We don't want to kill anyone though. That that would be bad. No deaths. Is this the crazy one? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so maybe the it just says hot. This is just just crazy. Is it crazy? <laughs> that chef is so excited. Wait, Dave, this chef looks like you a little bit. It's you, Dave. <laughs> oh, Dave, I've got a hat for you. Oh yeah, big boy, yeah. You know that. You know that. One of the crazy ideas for once we've they've eaten the spicy noodles, they're going to blow out a candle, but they're going to do it whilst wearing a stocking on their head. My face will look like this. Yeah. It's very funny. Apparently it's quite difficult to blow a candle with stockings on your head. So, <laughs> so it's just going to get a bit crazy. This is very random. What do you mean it's random? <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, bro, just chill out and take your umbrella. <laughs> So our only hindrance today could be the weather. So we have got these umbrellas, but I don't know if it's going to start raining more heavily. The weather forecast said it might start chucking it. We were walking around here last night, but I was in a complete daze because literally this whole trip we are jet lagged. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of a crazy place. Coffee. Yeah, let's get a cheeky coffee. The signage looks so good here. Do you know that in Korean that says cheeky coffee? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can we get a cheeky coffee? Coffee? Yeah. Yes. Just a cheeky one. Just a, yeah, a little cheeky one. Guys, we're just trying to think about a, a plan B for our for our entire evening's plan. I just don't think this rain is going to chill out. And if it doesn't, we may need to postpone our devious schemes till tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel slightly devious. Just because there's an element of 
stitching people up. I love it in hostels then. Like, yeah, yeah. Love it. This is, this is going to be fun. Yeah, check out all the corridors in here are amazing. It's all been graffitied by previous guests. Dave spotted this particularly inspirational bit of graffiti. When we stop taking risks, we stop living life. It's very That's true, it. isn't it? Not far off the Solvi mantra, I'd say. Yeah, come and check this space out outside. This view. Yeah, this is cool. Hey, when it's sunny. Yeah, it almost reminds me with these like oil drums and the vibe inside. It almost reminds me of either a paintballing center or like a laser, a laser questing center. Yeah. What? He even talked to me. <laughs> oh no, now it's locked. I think it's the pulley. Oh. Oh, my bad. <laughs> All right, Louis is on the rest and edit train. I'm gonna go downstairs, see what's going on in the communal space. I think there might be a little bit of cheeky beer pong going on. So I'll have a look and see. Beer pong is in full swing. My team just won. We're in the finals. Hey! What are you saying, Chris? Yeah. Someone, 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 a lot of fun down there with all the uh, the beer pong guys. You may have seen that I'm taking them <laughs> down to, well, Soul Town. Yeah. Um, hopefully you've been having some fun with Dave. I've been editing, hardcore editing. This is probably the most intensive editing trip I've done because of, I don't know, just because the amount of footage we're capturing and the, and the speed at which we're traveling. It's just intense. Guys, I'm venturing out into the rain to try and find some food because I am pretty hungry. Let's see how we get on. Oh. Right, like I said guys, the rain has kind of messed things up today for us a little bit. We haven't managed to film our challenge video, but hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow or the next day we'll get a chance to do it. But I do have some exciting news to tell you, or me and Dave have anyway. We're halfway through Solvi now, we're halfway through the trip. Um, what's the latest, Dave, what's been going on? Uh, all sorts of good stuff the last week actually. Uh, first thing is on the 31st of May we've been invited to speak at a conference. Now last week in India, uh, like two or three countries ago, we had an interview with Forbes magazine with this girl called Esha and she introduced us to somebody else in a different department at the UN and that resulted in a call when I was in Shanghai and then now they've invited us to this conference 31st of May which is a combo between the UN and social good stuff mixed with Mashable which is a technology blog if you don't know it so that is a really amazing way for us to wrap up the story so far that we get to at the end of May and share the Solvi idea with a whole different audience altogether so we're super stoked with that so I'll probably present probably get Louis in on Skype and we'll probably also get um, one of you guys who submit an idea to the Solby project to Skype in live real time with all these journalists and technology people. So that is very exciting. This is exciting because so far the only real coverage we've had on Solvi is my vlogs, which is cool, but it'd be great if the rest of the world found out about what's happening here and we could share some of the cool stories. So on that note, to get to a whole other audience as well, if you ever saw Louis's electric bike video that we did together, we did it at our mate Vince's house. And Vince is actually an amazing portrait painter and he's agreed to paint a portrait of each of the people that we put in the Solvi spotlight this year. So seven portraits, okay? And so there's a couple more cool things about it. To kick it off, he's actually done a painting, an amazing creative painting, which I wanna show you now, of me and Louis scheming and planning to make the Solvi trip happen. Check that out, guys. Mm. I love it. I like the laughing one of me. 
Yeah. And the vloggy one, David is coffee. And this is all the all the places that we're visiting. And then Solvi here. And something that neither of us noticed when we first saw it, but it's all painted on a world map. So you can see all the countries behind us. So, so yeah, so what we're gonna do, and this is Vince's contribution to the Solvi project, is we are going to raffle off this painting. So in the description below, we're gonna stick the link. And if you put any amount of money in from a quid upwards, you'll be in the raffle. You just get one raffle chance. Um, to win this painting and all of the money, 100% of the money that you give will go to the projects that we're supporting. Louis and myself, myself and Louis <laughs> and our mate Andy are putting in starter funds to make sure we can at least give each project that we choose like a thousand pounds but hopefully you guys will be able to stick some in as well and that means we'll be able to give more money to each of the projects or maybe give more money to more projects. We don't know, it depends how much we get and what goes on. But it's exciting and we're really glad to be able to bring you guys into this. Yeah, so check out the link below. It's down there somewhere. Go and check out the fundraising page. <laughs> right, on that note, we're gonna get some sleep. Tomorrow, we are planning to go to the, what's it called? The, L, DMZ. the, the DMZ, the demilitarized, de 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 it's, too, it's too late, it's too late. <laughs> Demilitarized zone, which is in between South and North Korea and we hopefully will learn some cool stuff there. Catch in the morning, peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. adventure.